Such as we are, let us clap for our lilac. I know a girl who found out she was pregnant at 19. Although that's not the worst age to have a baby, it is still young. She can no longer just think of herself. Still at her first and only job, she makes 9.25 an hour and works about 20 hours a week, if she's lucky. How can you support a child off that? Already she is financially unstable. There's so much that goes into having a kid, you don't want to do it if you're not ready. I can say this from experience because I am that 19 year old. I am pregnant and I am nowhere near ready to have a kid. Too many people have kids without realizing what would be best for a child. As the article on January 29, 2014, How Instability Affects Kids says, the age, gender, race, ethnicity, temperament, and past experiences of a child, the mental health, parenting skills, employment, and past experiences of a parent, the nature of a family's social network and local community, all these factors and others contribute to how a transition plays out in the lives of parents and children. Today I will go over the harms that come during pregnancy and after having kids, what causes people to have kids anyway, and some different methods we can do to prevent unprepared pregnancies. Financial instability is one harm. As CNN Money uh, states on August 18, 2015, to raise a child born in the year 2013 until it's 18 will cost a middle income family just over $245,000. If, a stress, if stress from a job is eating at you alone already, imagine trying to juggle that and a child. On March 28, 2015, the Washington Post states that mother's stress, especially stress from juggling with work and trying to find time with kids, that may actually be affecting their kids poorly. And then child insecurity becomes prominent. Coming from a family of six, money was always an issue. I never felt secure and I always wondered what I could do to help. When financial instability becomes normal is when it becomes dangerous to the child. Familystudies.org on July 29, 2014 said, chronic instability experiencing transition so often that instability becomes the norm, as it does for many low income families, may create toxic stress which increases risk of all kinds of health and social problems. Harms to your body. Tender, bigger breasts become an issue because your body is getting ready to feed your baby after birth. So they frequently hurt and um, you may experience cracked nipples like the one in the upper right hand corner if you choose to breastfeed. As their name implies, stretch marks are caused by tiny tears in the supporting layers of tissue under your skin as it becomes stretched to its limit. This was stated by what to expect when you're expecting in 2008. Forget about the fact that thin is in. You will have to gain weight when you have a child, um, a certain amount depending on your prior weight that is healthy to your health and the baby's. So if you're not ready to face that fact, then do not have a child. Men, you may find that you sympathize with your pregnant partner. <laughs> Sympathetic pregnancy has no known prevention and men can experience weight gain, nausea, vomiting, itchy skin, and more. So they're not limited to just watching from the sidelines. The last harm is the harm to your free. You no longer have any. Everything you eat and breathe the baby does and you are no longer free to do whatever you want. No smoking, no drinking, no terrible foods. Then for the next 18 plus years you will be raising this child and putting all your time and money. Now that we've gone over the harms, let's look at why people choose to have kids anyway. You may already have a kid. According to conceiveeasy.com on February 2nd, 2013, a woman can become pregnant as soon as two to three weeks after giving birth. And some doctors say that this is the most fertile time for a woman. Once you see that little bundle of joy, you might want more and one kid eventually equals more kids. You may not use a condom, so that heightens right away the risk of an unprepared or unwanted pregnancy. Natural feels better. Whether you know someone well or don't know them well at all, you may have that one drunken night and 
choose not to use protection. And there is also a 1 in 20 chance for young couples single act of intercourse for young couples can present a 1 in 20 chance of pregnancy. The last um, reason why people have kids is to save or heighten their relationship. Dr. Craig Malkin states from HuffPost on March 10, 2015, many of my clients have embraced parenthood as an opportunity to grow. Determined to avoid mistakes of their parents, they examine themselves with renewed vigor. So they spark something in you. They make things more exciting. He also states that my wife and I started a ritual of toasting at the end of the day. We made it, we say. The kids are alive and asleep. We share the highs and lows. Parenting is a shared adventure full of self-discovery and rich rewards. Now that we've gone over the harms and why people have kids anyway, we'll go over a few methods to prevent this. Use a condom. A male condom is a barrier to keep from men's sperm going into the woman's body. According to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, February 24, 2015, that only has a failure rate of 18%. If you don't have a condom or any form of contraception, then resist. Men keep it in your pants and women, you keep it in yours too. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency and non-emergency contraceptive. Plan B is a progestin-only pill. Progestin-only drugs can reduce the risk of pregnancy by 95% if taken within the first 24 hours of unprotected sex. There are also forms like the shot, the patch, the pill, whichever method you choose, all these can help prevent an unprepared or unwanted pregnancy. So today I went over the harms that come with having children, why people choose to do it anyway, and the methods that may help prevent this. I encourage you to rethink before you bring a child into this world. We must take these actions to prevent unprepared pregnancies so that the child will not be the one suffering. Now, while I'm not financially ready for this child, I do have love and support on both sides from family. But I hope you manage to think about bringing a child into this world before you do what I do.